Hello everyone, welcome to the Codeverse. In this video, we will be exploring the world of object-oriented programming. We will be learning about what is object-oriented programming, why we use it, what is class, what is object. On internet, you may see some very complex definition of object-oriented programming, that is OOP. Because of which, you may think that uh, OOP is a very complex phenomenon, but it's not. In fact, OOP is invented to solve complex real life problem in a simple ways. In OOP, everything is object. Every real world entity is called as object and its structure is called as classes. If you look around yourself, everything is object. Example, Ferrari and BMW are object of a class car. Laptops and mobiles are object of a class machine. OOP maps the real world entities to our program. Still confused? Let's consider real life problem. Suppose we want to create a program which will keep all the data of persons present in India. So if we try to solve it using normal programming language, it will become very complex. Let us see how we can use object oriented programming over here. Before storing a data, let's think about property of a person. Example, person has a name, age, gender. Each each person performs some actions like eating, walking, sleeping, etc. Structure used to store these properties and function is called as class. Now we have a class person which gives us a guideline that every person should have properties and perform some functions. Real world entities of a class is called as object. Let's consider a real life person with name Ben. Ben is a 21 year boy. Consider another person with name Emma. Emma is 18 year old girl. So in this way, we can create infinite number of objects of a class person. Ben and Emma are the real world example of a class. So they are object. In this way, we can map our real world problems with the programming concepts. Always remember, aim for using object oriented programming is to solve complex real life problem in a simple way. So, from next video, we will start to explore the world of object-oriented programming with some simple examples. If you like this video, then please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friend. See you in the next video. Thank you.